Hey there, that's right. Great and glorious. You're going to be famous one day. Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again. Today I want to talk to you about the most dangerous combination on the face of the planet. Uh, for those of you here in YouTube land, you will be aware that um, there is a gentleman in charge of a channel which is called the Venom Fang X. Uh, and this one particular guy has taken fundamentalist creationist Christianity and he's doing the most diabolical thing with it. He is blending it with the conspiracy theories of Alex Jones. Now, Alex Jones is a man who believes everything contrary to science and then publishes it in the form of videos and films and all the rest of that, even to the point whereby, and I, for a, for a short time, I mean, I confess this, okay, I, for a short time, I actually fell into his trap, all right, of actually believing his shit for a while until I started looking further and further and further into what he was talking about. And I can understand people who have fallen for conspiracy theories. They're very powerful. They're very engaging. The paranoia it gives you is almost like a drug. You've got to have more of it. You know, you can get psychologically addicted to this stuff. Uh, and it stops you from thinking because you start believing things that aren't true. Now, from the Alex Jones films that I've seen, uh, he takes the evidence of someone like sitting on a chair saying, well, you don't want to listen to all that stuff about the climate because all oh, that's just hooey, that's balderdash, that's bullshit. And that's as far as it goes, all right? There's no scientific evaluation because the Alex Jones videos are political. They're there to constrain you emotionally. They're there to make you do what he wants. They're not there to educate or inform. And that's why there's so much of an appeal to paranoia and so much of an appeal to fear. Now, if you take all those elements and you add that to fundamentalist Christianity, tell me, what, what do you think you got here? All right, you've got an explosive combination, a dangerous explosive combination. If you think that C4 is, like, pretty explosive, or you think that... Enriched uranium is a dangerous thing. Then just think what life would be like if fundamentalist creationist Christianity is blended with the Alex Jones conspiracy theories. It's fucking dangerous. All right, Alex Jones just lies, and he makes money out of it. Okay. It's not totally philanthropic. It lets some information out for free so, so that he can get people riled up and then essentially they all come to his channels, to his pages, and eventually they all become paying customers. That's how his Ponzi scam works. And it's all based upon emotion and all based upon fear. But the messages of the Alex Jones films are the same messages which fuel fundamentalist Islamic terrorism because I've seen the same message being portrayed in Islamic fundamentalist films alright I've seen that you can find them on Google video as well as the same conspiracy theories which assisted in creating the Holocaust alright so, these myths, which are making Alex Jones money, are responsible, historically responsible, for killing millions of people. And because they're being promoted so much now, it is possible they could have an effect upon the political landscape. I do ask myself whether the, um, the atheists and the rationalists and the free thinkers are strong enough to defeat this um, tide of irrational, scaremongering bollocks. You know, because what this guy, um, I think his previous channel was called Gear Up or something, but you know, what, what this guy is doing is using the Alex Jones horseshit 
as a way of controlling the minds of the Christian fundamentalists. So he's taking an already existing army of weird people, weird, dangerous people, and bringing them up to militant level. I think this is scary. And I don't know what can be done about it. But there's... This is when I sometimes have a few problems with free speech. Because it allows so many people to get riled up. And it's, it, it's the human instinct just to follow a herd rather than to follow and find out what is true. That's why people would rather believe things than know things. You know, humans are pathetic. And they're being made worse by this guy. <laughs>